my father gave me a test to do to people before I got into a relationship, before I got into a business, before I did anything with anyone that was serious. He gave me a test and I was discussing it with my friend and it was Kiso, Kaso and Koso, but I don't think that my father put that. So my friend asked me if I, if I did this test to him and I said, no, I did not. So my question is, is it fair to implement a test to test their money and to money, anger, and their drinking, but essentially it's a specific test that, that shows me all three. And I didn't do this to him because I didn't think it was fair. So I'm asking you, Rabbi, is it fair to do to that to someone if I'm still unsure whether or not it's serious or not? The Talmud tells us that a person's true character is seen in three ways, um, through his, uh, through his uh, the way he spends money and um, how he acts when he's ang- his anger, his rage, and um, when he drinks. So Jennifer has a test that she could run on somebody to see their character. Um, her father had suggested she do it. Um, the question is, is it fair to do to somebody? Well, if you want to uh, have a relationship with somebody for whatever it might be, so yes, you could, uh, you could try. I, I, I to know how you give that test to people. <laughs> I don't know exactly you do it, but uh, uh, I probably usually by knowing the person after a while that you, uh, you, you know, spend time with him with different ways of people you, you get to know somebody uh, over the uh, months or maybe a year or two you get to know all these things uh, how he spends his money if he's a charitable person and uh, and uh, if he has, uh, loses his temper and uh, and if he uh, they, they drinks uh, in a way they shouldn't it doesn't take too much to, to find that out if you if you find out a person, or it's uh, you can ask other people who know the person. You know, test it yourself. Uh, but uh, uh, but if you have a way to do it, uh, the question is if they're going to do the wrong thing, you can try to get somebody angry. I don't know if you do that. If you do something in front of them, try to get them angry, see if he gets angry or not, or. Uh, uh, yeah, I don't know how, how, how he spends his money. Uh, it's a question if you're allowed to test somebody to put money in front of somebody and see if they're going to steal it or not. Is that considered like you're uh, putting a stumbling block in front of a blind person? So uh, I think you have to ask a, uh, a rabbi in each circumstance uh, if you're allowed to uh, put a person in that situation where they might uh, do the wrong thing. But with Chazal, I tell them nothing. You should test the person that way. They're saying, by knowing a person, you get to know them really if noticing these three things. Let's say test them with these things. So you can notice it by doing these three, by knowing the, how he acts in these three, uh, in these circumstances, how he, uh, how he, uh, he's at, he's conducting himself. But it doesn't say test the person through that. He person is tested automatically. By by uh, observing a person, these three things: if he's he loses his temper, how how he uses his money, and how he is careful. Of the person. <laughs>